G'day guys, today I want to show you a mock I put together of Bag End. Now this is based heavily on the LEGO Classic set 79003 and what I want to do is I wanted to take that set and make it bigger and better and more like what you see in the movie. So this is the box of the Classic set and in its um, standard configuration it comes with six minifigures, four of the dwarfs, four of the twelve dwarfs, Gandalf and Bilbo himself. I really wanted to show this scene from the first Hobbit movie where you have all twelve dwarfs and Gandalf sitting around Bilbo's big table having a feast and uh, based on his current configuration you can't you can't really represent that very well so that's what gave me motivation to create this mock. One thing I would like to point out is I think LEGO actually has done a fantastic job with the standard version of Bag End. I don't think there's anything particularly wrong with this set it's just that the scene I wanted to display I just couldn't do um, based on the size that LEGO had, uh, had produced with this Bag End. Now as you can see there's quite a big external difference to these two and it gets even bigger uh, on the inside of Bag End but we'll get to that in a bit. The biggest thing I wanted to represent is that Bag End is, you know, it's been around for ages. The tree on top's been there for years so I wanted to make the tree significantly larger than what's included in the Lego kit. And the other thing is Bag End, you know, it's got a lot of shrubs and growth um, on, the, on the top of it, um, right around it. Bilbo has quite a nice garden and I didn't think Lego included enough um, foliage and greenery to really represent that so I've significantly increased um, the amount of, of uh, flowers and shrubs and plants um, to really give this impression. Some of you may be wondering why I have Frodo and Gandalf sitting out the front of Bag End and the reason I've done that is because I wanted to represent two scenes uh, in this mock. Um, one from The Hobbit which is all the dwarves sitting around having their big feast and the second one is from the start of Lord of the Rings. Uh, when Gandalf and Frodo are sitting at the front of Bag End smoking their pipes just before Bilbo's big party. So taking a look at the outside, the primary thing I've done is added significantly more foliage and a couple of bits of wildlife. So you can see here I have quite a few new flowers that I've added to the scene. I've also added some, um, they're a bit hard to see there, but I've got some pumpkins there. Um, and I've also added these mushrooms, which is, uh, if I pull one of these off up here, just to show you. Uh, these mushrooms are from um, the Mirkwood Elf polybag actually. I thought they were quite a nice looking mushroom and they went really nicely with this scene. Uh, I've also added a, f cause a few extra carrots um, and quite a significant amount of more foliage on the top here. You can see all the different types of leaves um, and shrubs that I've added up here. And just on coming to the other side, just some more some more shrubs, um, some more animals. I have uh, this chook here which I got on eBay which is from I believe some farming sets. And just if I go around the sides, on the ends here, I didn't really change a lot. I've just added in um, one or two extra flowers. Um, another thing I added, I didn't point out actually, is uh, I added a rake, because you know, presumably if Frodo or Bilbo are gardening, they're gonna need some tools to do that. And on the other end, just a couple more flowers. You can probably tell that bag end, um, my bag end is significantly larger. Um, and the primary way I did that was by extending it in this region here. You can see that you've got uh, one, two, three, four um, bricks there wide. Um, whereas if I just bring across the original version, you can see in this one there's just one brick there. So that's the primary way I extended the bag end to accommodate the 12 dwarves on the inside. Now for the main event itself, if I turn this around and we go inside bag end, this is where it's all happening. And you can see it looks pretty crazy, but I'm going to go in and show you some of the finer details we have here. Uh, and as you can see, just the different sizes we have here. We have quite a small uh, interior to bag end here. And what I've done, I've extended uh, my mock version of bag end just enough to fit in the 12 dwarves, Gandalf, uh, and some more accessories that we saw in the movie. I designed my uh, roof at bag end just like the Lego set. It comes off. Taking a look at the primary focus of this set, and it's this massive table here uh, where I have all uh, 12 dwarves. Um, sitting around the table and Gandalf sitting on the end here. I've really just tried to replicate the scene from the movie by going all out, including all sorts of food. Some of the primary things um, I added which I really liked uh, are these turkeys, um, which actually have removable legs. I thought they were quite classic and that'd be something you'd probably expect to see in this sort of scene. Um, there's lots of different pieces of, of bread and croissants and, and different bottles. Um, and every dwarf I've tried to have holding knives and bottles and, and different pieces of food. To get all these different dwarves I had to buy all the different Lego sets, which is probably what they wanted you to do. Another thing I added to this scene which I thought was a bit special or a bit unique was this exclusive version of Bilbo, which came with the Blu-ray of the Hobbit uh, movie release. Because I've been able to extend Bag End out, 
Um, I've been able to make Bilbo's writing corner uh, a little bit bigger. I've made the kitchen a bit bigger to accommodate such a large feast. I've also added a pantry area. I've also added in this corner quite a few more swords and weapons. So I thought I'd quickly go through how I built this scene, where I got all my parts from, in case you were thinking about doing something similar yourself. A lot of the different pieces of food um, and, and cutlery and bottles I all bought from just eBay stores selling them individually. However, there were a couple of other places where I used um, primarily got pieces from. I used uh, a few of these uh, Mirkwood Elf poly bags to get some of the goblets and the tree sections. Um, and I also used a couple of these uh, Frodo uh, cooking corner poly bags um, just to get a few more of the pieces and, uh, and flowers and different things you'd expect to see in the Hobbit hole. I actually built a lot of the interior, so the walls and the externals. I did that by um, basically buying one complete bag end set from, uh, from the Lego, so one in a whole box. And then I bought one on eBay that didn't have any minifigures in it. So thank you for watching uh, an overview of my mock of Bag End. I hope you found it useful in case you're considering making your own mock. Uh, if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to ask. And if you want me to take a closer look at anything, just let me know. In any case, thanks for watching and bye for now.